up guys tech vid kid here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, factory image slash reset a Dell laptop so the first thing you're obviously want to do you're gonna want to do is uh, start up the laptop and obviously you're gonna want to plug it into power since uh, what if the battery dies while you're Im re imaging the laptop so what I'm gonna do for now is zoom in on the screen so that you guys can so that I can make it look like I'm screen recording because I do not have a capture card and I don't plan on buying a capture card anytime soon so uh, just in case you left a disk inside and you don't want to power up the computer and wait for it to boot up into Windows power up your laptop and then spam F2 so that it'll take you into the BIOS setup and another step is inside of the BIOS setup so I'm gonna show you that okay so now that you see the BIOS setup I'm going to quickly remove the other DVD that I accidentally left in there sorry about that guys uh, if you guys already have your laptops on uh, then remove the disk and unplug any external USB devices before you start this or else they might get erased so now the next step is going to be to oh god this is terrible angling there that's perfect just zoom out a little bit sorry guys I'm trying to get the perfect shot there we go that's perfect Okay, so now, what you're going to want to do is, once you're in the BIOS, click on the uh, right-hand side button, uh, two times, I mean, until you get to the boot menu, and then once you're inside of that boot menu, you're going to want to go down, and go to uh, secure boot, and then click enter, uh, click on the down arrow, so that you'll get to the... Uh, enable the option and then click on enter so that uh, I mean so that it gets to the disabled option and then click on enter and then after that secure boot will be disabled and then you're gonna want to click on boot list option and then click on uh, legacy so click enter and then now you're gonna want to click on F10 and then click on yes this is going to allow you to boot from a DVD drive. So now click on F12, spam F12 until you get to this screen right here. At this screen, I'm going to want you to stop and grab your uh, recovery disk so that you can insert it into the laptop. So go ahead and insert your recovery drive or disk or USB, whichever one you have the recovery image burned to or stored on. Uh, make sure that it's been burned because just putting the ISO onto there will not help you one bit or if you already had the if you bought them from the factory from Dell then um, then go ahead and do that go ahead and just insert the DVD or USB and uh, wait for a few seconds so wait about 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And now uh, use the arrow keys to navigate, the down and up keys to navigate to the CD, DVD, CDRW drive. Click on enter once you're highlighting that. And then it should load up lo this loading up files screen. So now essentially what it's doing is it's loading up all of the recovery files that are used to re image the system. So just give it a minute to re-image I mean load up the files for the re-image and uh, what this is going to do is completely factory reset everything oh and I, f uh, I nearly forgot to say guys make sure to back up all data on your disk before doing this back up everything okay I'm telling you guys before you do this back up all data all data will be deleted from the disk uh, during this process. It's going to completely format the disk and recover everything to a state as if it was brand new and you just brought it out of the box. 
So, uh, let's just give it a second. This laptop is really slow, which is the reason why it's been used as a workbench in a lot of my other videos, and I don't even use it for editing anymore. This used to be my main editing machine until I got the upgrade to this. No, not the shelf, but th this is annoying. Ah, dang it, I'm gonna have to... That... That right there is the Dell Gaming 157000. Connect the AC adapter. What do you mean? Alright, so right now it tells, it's telling me to uh, reconnect the AC adapter even though it's literally connected right now. What? Oh, I forgot to plug it into the wall. What is wrong with me? Okay, there. Let me quickly plug it, get it plugged into the wall so that it doesn't die on me and uh, kill the drive. I've already had a drive die on me from this. It was from the old HP laptop, so the 2007, the 07 laptop, so yeah. Okay. It says, ah, there. Uh, so, if you have... The, if you already, if you still have the recovery partition on your hard drive, then it'll allow you to run from the hard drive, but, uh, I would most of the time recommend doing it from a system recovery disk, but here's the thing, if you don't have the disks, but you have the partition on your drive, then you can run the program from your hard drive, but since we are using a disk for this method, uh, I'm going to select run from the system recovery disk. And, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to do this. Okay, wait, sorry. The camera angling is all messy again. There we go. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is it's going to run here. Let's give it a minute. Uh, what it's doing is it's checking to see if it can repair the system, which, even if it says it has been fixed, click on yeah it didn't find any um, issues so if you were just trying to fix any issues then you can click cancel right now but if you're trying to completely recover the drive like complete fresh install to make it speedy again then click on next it's gonna look for uh, backups of the computer and here we go 2013 Wow, it's actually already been so long since we got this laptop. So, factory image, we're going to click on that. Click on next. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to grab the power cable for this, for my camera. So, factory refresh, it only uh, restores the system partition. But, if you want to get all original partitions back, then click on uh, factory recovery. But if you're just trying to speed up your computer again, get it back to how it was before uh, you bought it, and you don't want to change any other partitions, then click on Factory Refresh. Uh, just a second, guys. I've got to grab the wire, the power cord for my other camera since I'm going to be switching to the, uh, what do you call it? I'm going to be switching to... Dang it, where's my, oh, okay, there, actually, I'm gonna run the camera off of my PC, yeah, there, that's a better idea, um, I'm gonna run it off of the Dell gaming laptop, so I'm going to power that up right now. So now you might get a glare of some lighting, that's from my RGB lighting in my desk. So now, let me plug in the action camera, or, well, that's what it's called. Oh no, this isn't good. The cable's not working. Yeah, this thing's dead. I forgot that one day the cable flew out and broke. Uh, I'm gonna be right back, guys. Okay guys, so now uh, what we're going to do is click on factory refresh, and since I've gotten the action camera all charged up now, we can go for the factory reset, refresh, click on next, 
And once it starts, we will go into a time lapse and I will uh, tell you guys the next steps from then on. Okay, while it's loading, let me go and grab the other tripod, the mini pod, since we're gonna need two tripods for today. Um, so we're also going to erase all personal files since uh, if you're selecting erase all personal files, then delete, um, then make sure to take a backup. Even if you click on yes, it might accidentally uh, delete everything, so make sure that you have a readily available backup. And it has started. It is getting ready for backup and recovery. So I'm just going to... Um, set up a tripod. So yeah, guys. Now I'll see you in the next step. What? If this issue persists, what? Contact does. Okay, just a second, guys. I will be back in the time lapse, and or in the next step. Okay, guys. The next thing you're gonna want to do is insert disc number two so if you do have a disc number two if you're either a recovering from the hard disk drive or b uh using cds i mean dvd well if you're using dvds then you're going to need to switch out discs or if you're using cds so now we're gonna give it a minute to read the disc I read online, oh yeah, by the way guys, while I was, if you remember earlier, there was an error uh, from, if you guys were watching through that entire time lapse, you might remember that there was an error that popped up. Turns out I actually have to click on uh, delete all partitions. So, uh, yeah, and also I read online that sometimes you need to eject the disc again. Uh, disc number two. Just give it a little spin and then put it back in. So now we just wait a few minutes while we watch. Okay, I shake my hands way too much. Ah, and then there we go. That means, that right there means that it is finishing up. So, right back into the time lapse, we go. Oh, okay, alright. I was gonna do this. Okay guys, so now it's telling me to insert disc 3, which is the final disc, well for me, since I'm not using CDs, I'm using DVD R drives, I mean discs. So, quickly set all the other ones aside and get out the final disc, disc 3. So we're going to insert that into here, nice. And, wait a second while it does that. Yeah, I accidentally inserted disc two twice. Ah, there we go. And we will go right back into the time lapse once again. Okay. So now that we're done with the time lapse, you can see here, finished re recovery complete. So we can now hit restart. Remove the disc from the drive. Power off this tired and sleepy action cam. Oh, I'm gonna need to go into the setup. Uh, this is an issue. So, next thing you're gonna want to do is boot up into the BIOS again after clicking restart by clicking by spamming the F2 button. Once you get into the BIOS, what you're going to want to do. Oh, quickly, let me set the date. Sorry about that. This will, this video will obviously be uploaded uh, later in on the second of, I mean the first of February. So it's eight forty six as of the time I'm recording. Yeah, they're perfect. Eight forty six. Uh, it is also uh, the thirty first. So now what you're gonna want to do is go into boot. And then you're going to want to go to the boot list option button 
click on UEFI, click on load, uh, actually you don't really need to change the load legacy option ROM thing, I just have that on because I like how the scroll, the little blue, uh, blue download wave goes, so I mean startup wave goes. So now we are going to uh, click on F10 and then click on yes. And it is going to exit and boot into Windows. And for me, this is, since this is a 2013 machine, it is going to boot me into Windows 8. Even though uh, in 2013, Windows 8.1 was out. Uh, this was bought in December 2013, so I still don't understand why Dell didn't package Windows uh, 8.1 with this. But still, I'm okay with 8 because... Uh, as long as it's Windows, I'm okay. Uh, so yeah, and then after that, let's see what happens. Okay, it's booting into Windows. Boot. Boot. Get the boot. Today. Okay, let's see. We see the PC booting up. Sorry about the weird uh, stuff that's showing up on the screen. That's just the camera getting too much reflection. I need to clean the lens. I am really sorry, guys. Let me just move it a bit closer so that I don't have to zoom in so much. Because sometimes that also makes it blurrier. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to look at a couple of bezels for a few seconds while it's booting. And there. Oh, perfect. Just as I finished. And now it is ready. Why does it say China? We did not purchase this in China. Never have we ever been to China. So, I mean, I mean, okay, let me set it to, come on, I know that it's Windows 8, Windows 8 ran out of support along with Vista, but still, I don't think that Vista is a bad OS, so why is 8. Why should I think 8.1 is a bad OS? USA, USA, we love the USA, no we don't, yes we do, I don't know what to say, and we're just going to run through the basic setup. I accept, and we're going to accept, ah, uh, okay, I'm going to quickly cover you guys up with the lens cap. Okay, time to type in my uh, email address for, since this is my PC now, uh, I just needed to wipe off the hard drive because it was way too slow. Dang it, I gotta, uh, no, it's a dot com. Yeah, whatever, just allow Dell to do whatever they need. Okay, so now, let's get through the basics. What color would I like for Windows? I don't know, I'm feeling a bit like a lime. That's not lime. This is lime. Okay, I'm gonna also name this PC, uh, Owner... Owner... No, stop. Owners... Owner PC, fine. Since that's what I did for the Wii, it's just that I said owner Wii, so. Yeah. Oh god, nope, you are not looking at that. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So, while I was typing in the password, it randomly s started saying that the disk drive is open. Keep in mind that I'm using the Sony camcorder, so, yeah. Okay, now, I'm a use. Actually, let's customize these settings, so let's see. No. Automatically install? Mm. Only important updates. I don't want this thing to randomly turn on. Okay, yep. Protect the privacy. That's what we're all about. Yep, do this. Nope, I'm not giving Windows any more uh, data than that. Check online solutions. We we'll use Windows. No, actually, sometimes yes. I, I kind of feel like that's a bit useful. Ah, again! How many times do I have to do this? Okay, well, uh, into the lock mode. Okay, guys, so now with my own custom revolutionary blurring, we are trying to connect to the internet to sign into my Microsoft account. Wow, such magical blurring. Dang it! 
Okay, I'll just create a new local account. I'm going to name it owner, like I do with everything else. Uh, password. I'm going to type in, can you guys see the password? No, it doesn't let you see. I'm going to quickly type in a password for my PC. Uh, re-enter password, okay. Okay, now, password hint. Yeah, I'm just gonna say Dell Gaming since that'll help me. What, how do they not match? Fine, I'll try again. Come on! Okay, finally. So now, finalizing settings. Hi. Hello there, Windows. Okay. While oh, we're getting things ready, check out the new way to use Windows. Yeah, everybody was getting really mad at how Microsoft changed the arrow glass look on Windows. So yeah, after your PC is ready, move your mouse into any corner. Okay, I will. I will move it into any corner. Okay, now where's my mouse? Okay, just a second guys, I, it's telling me to move my mouse into any corner. So let me quickly grab uh, a mouse. Preferably my mouse. I don't know, where's my mouse? Ow. Charger cable. Let me quickly grab my mouse. And let me find... Okay, so now, I got my mouse. So now... Now what we're going to do is move my mouse into a corner. There we go. Windows, I did it. I moved my mouse into a corner. Yeah, stay there, little mouse. Okay, yeah, sorry about that stupid sketch I was doing. Uh, but as you can see, it is currently installing apps, probably stuff like PowerDirector, which I'm probably not going to use ever in ever because I already have PowerDirector 16 on the Dell Gaming which I use as both my gaming machine and my editing machine. Also, if we can get um, 10 likes on this video, yeah, I'm making it really easy, 10 likes, then I will show you guys how to install macOS on this Dell or any Dell for that matter because all Dells use the same uh, BIOS uh, shortcuts and boot menu shortcuts it is that your machine might get recognized differently so yeah we're uh, so for that video if you guys get 10 likes uh, I'll also show you guys how to burn the disk using the burn the image using the Dell Gaming. Uh, sadly, the Dell Gaming does not have a U. I mean, a DVD drive. Obviously, it's a 2019 machine. Barely any 20 machines in 2019 had a disk drive. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it onto a USB flash drive, and I'll link the download. I'll put the download links in the description of that of that video. Also, if you guys. I'm sorry, but I can't actually give out this factory image since, one, I'm probably going to get copyrighted. Hey, probably going to get copyrighted by Microsoft. Hey, we got the lime. Ooh, good. It has my favorite Dell default background set. Okay, so as you see here, there was no start button on Windows 8. Yeah, remember when that was a thing? Having to click the Windows key to even get to the start menu? Another annoying thing, libraries. I really hated those. Well, actually, they were a bit more organized back in the Windows Vista in seven days, but in Windows 8 and 8.1, they literally got way too messy. Like, they would be the only thing, sometimes they would be the only thing that showed up in this entire menu. So here we see my OSC drive, and actually, 
there's a disk drive icon. So this is a fresh, well not fresh, but like a factory OEM install of Windows 8. We have register my PC. So let's quickly load up, say, Internet Explorer. And no, I'm not going to be upgrading this thing to Windows uh, 8.1 because I don't have uh, 8.1. Well, I have a 8.1 installed disk. I just don't feel like doing the, this because, uh, well, I really feel like Windows 8 would be a lot more optimized for this. Although I hate how this thing the uh, has to, how Windows 8 has to have the search bar at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we're gonna go to uh, YouTube.com. Let's go to YouTube.com. Yeah, let's go to YouTube.com, my favorite website of all time. Yes, obviously we have to do that. You know why? Because this video's on YouTube. Fine, we go and download Google Chrome even though it's a ram hog. If I can actually download it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, sure, thank you. Show content. Oh my goodness. It can't find the installer. Yes. Still can't find it? Yes, download Chrome again. Ah, uh, there we go. Run. I'm gonna hit run. No, you don't need to security scan anything. I would rather have you not do anything at all to my fresh install. Actually, why am I using the old Microsoft Edge? That was the worst uh, web browser of all time. What? Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to give it a minute. So yeah, I'm just quickly showing you guys Windows 8 here. So remember guys, if we can get 10 likes, then I will show you guys how to install macOS on a Dell laptop, which it will be this one, without messing with any of your Windows installations, because I haven't found a single video on YouTube showing you how to do that. So I'm going to do that. So just in case, like, uh, you're like, oh, I don't really want to buy a new Mac because they're expensive. It, ah, this is the only problem. This computer always does this. So, um, say you're like, you have a Windows PC and you don't feel like erasing the entire thing or you're just factory, you literally just factory reset the PC and you don't want to have to reset it all over again. So, that's what that guide will be for and you will see if we can get 10 likes. So yeah, this, I couldn't get web browser to work, Google Chrome web browser to work. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Bowser. Wahaha. <laughs> Alright, okay, so I kind of get the web browser to work, so I'll try to get more stuff to work later onwards, but still. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. If you don't miss want to miss out on another video, make sure to subscribe so that I can finally go to sleep. It is late. No, it's not. It's only 8. But why change dim diamond Tate Tate settings? Change diamond Tate. I need to change the time and date. Or I mean diamond Tate. It's 903. Why Windows? Why so many whys? Yeah, we got all the stuff set up. That might have been why Google Chrome didn't even want to... Okay, now I think I know what happened. So, now we're going to try again. No, without... Okay, let me open up File Explorer. This is a fresh copy, so I have no personal data on this. Download. screen because uh, it still doesn't work never mind okay well I will get that to work later make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more content and uh, remember 10 likes if you want to see me install Mac OS on this computer and I will see you guys next time bye